Plans to return Amtrak service to Mobile appear to be on track. Today, the City Council set a vote for next week. WKRG News 5's Catherine Brooks spoke with council members and Amtrak officials about what comes next if this project gets the green light. After years of talk, we may soon see action on a plan to bring back Amtrak service between Mobile and New Orleans. On August 6th, the City Council will vote on three things required to advance the project. A funding agreement, a lease agreement between the City and Amtrak, and an intergovernmental agreement between the City and the Alabama Port Authority. Southern Rail Commission Chairman Knox Ross says the work to the West has already been done. Now it's time for Mobile to do its part. Uh, everything else is ready to go. The stations in Mississippi are finished. Uh, the station in New Orleans already exists, and so the only thing that really has to be done to run the train is and finish the improvements here in Mobile. Five out of seven council members will need to vote in favor of the project to push it forward. Last week, Josh Woods revealed to us his stance has changed since debate began, leaving Joel Daves and Ben Reynolds as the two holdouts. Reynolds has been against the plan, saying he thinks the federal government should pitch in. You know, the, the emphasis has been put on really the the positioning with the federal government, you know, we see them awarding big grants and this is important to them. So, you know, I'm having ongoing discussions with uh, Councilman Daves, Councilman Woods and others, you know, to try to level it up. If the project gets the green light next week, Amtrak officials hope to see people hopping aboard trains in Mobile sometime next year. Everybody wants to ride the first train. I, I get it. That's great. We're looking forward to that, too. It's probably in uh, 2025. Um, the grant is um, crucial to that. In Mobile, Catherine Brook, WKRG News 5.